and welcome to the Moodleman blog. Uh, my name's Julian Ridden and today we're going to start with our first series of sneak peeks into the upcoming Moodle 2.0 release. Now currently this is still considered alpha, which means that we're still building on it. Uh, it's certainly not finished and definitely not ready for a production server. But some of the code is now starting to shape up and, and is in good enough form for me to start showing it to you. So what I want to show you today is what's called conditional activities. Now this has been a, a very popular demand uh, for quite some time now for many Moodle users. Uh, the idea of conditional activities is the ability for uh, a teacher to say this resource won't become available until you meet a predetermined set of requirements. So it could be you can't go onto this topic till you've got this much in a quiz, or this resource doesn't appear until you've looked at two other resources. Uh, so without further ado, let's do a quick demo of what a student sees and then how a teacher sets it up. So here is uh, my Moodle Playpen uh, 2.0 Alpha site. Um, as I said, it's currently Alpha, but we're starting to get good enough shape to start showing off some material. Look, I've just logged in as a student, uh, and let me just quickly go through, and I set up a conditional activities demo course. Now, as I come in here, you'll see that currently there are two resources. Now, this is the first you're going to see conditional activities. Resource 1 I can click on, resource 2 is currently greyed out, and it's telling the student it's not available until resource 1 is complete. Okay, let's go through and look at resource 1. Obviously, it's just a demo. Now I've looked at it, if I go back to the previous screen, you'll see that there's a tick, Resource 2 has now become available. Now we can set more than one uh, conditional. So what I've done now is in the background I've created a quiz that won't appear until both of these resources have been looked at. So I'm going to look at resource 2, very unexciting resource. If I now go back, you'll see that a quiz, which previously was hidden, it wasn't grey like the other one, but it was actually completely hidden, has now become available to the student. Um, let's have a look at the quiz. Now it's a very, very basic quiz. And what I've said is the pass mark for this is 75%. So let's get this wrong. Um, let's say that the best system is Sakai, that 1 plus 1 is 3, that Moodle is not a LMS system, and that Martin Langhoff created Moodle. So I've effectively got all of them wrong. Let's submit that. You'll see here this is a new quiz interface, and I'll go through this in a future blog entry. So you can see I've got all of them wrong. If I go back to my previous screen, you'll see that nothing has changed. Let's go through and see what happened. Now, I've, I've put here, if the pass mark for this is 70%. So let's go through and re-attempt this quiz, and this time I'm going to get three out of the four right. So, look, let's leave that as a Kai, but say that Martin de Guillaume's created Moodle, that one and one equals two, and that Moodle is, in fact, an e-learning system. Click Next, Submit and Finish. You will see that now I've got three out of four correct, when I go back to the previous screen, here we have a message, congrats, you've finished topic one. So that's an example of these conditional activities in action. Let's see how simple it was for a teacher to set these up. So let me just quickly log back in as an administrator. Clicking on the course. Oh, it helped if I clicked on the right one. And now let's turn editing on. We set up these conditions as we create each resource. So first one we had here, you notice as a teacher, it's telling me what is currently set up here. This is conditionally restricted. It's not available until resource one is complete. This quiz here is marked complete. It's not available until the other one's marked complete. And it also mentions that the quiz is completely hidden. Now, if I go through just to edit resource two, this is just a, a good old fashioned typical web page resource. At the bottom, we have these new options, restrict, av restrict availability. We can do it by date, by a grade condition in any of the quizzes or activities, or upon certain completion requirements. And in this case here, resource two, which was the title here, was not available until resource one was marked complete. I also said to, before it's available, make it grayed out with information. So that's what made it that the student could see it, but couldn't complete it. Let's go back and have a look at how I set up the quiz. Again, I'm just going to edit. Again, I scroll down to our availability. In this case here, I went um, until resource two and resource one are both complete. We're gonna hide this activity entirely. And that's what made it completely invisible until the student had gone through and completed those requirements. Last but by no means least, let's have a look at the last thing. Again, any resource or activity can have conditional. So in this case here, this was just a label that I put in. But with the label, I put through a requirement. And in this case here, the quiz had to be more than three and less than five. Now, because it was obviously equal to four, 
um, more than three would be 70% and therefore they would have passed. You know, I didn't need this less than five in at all. And again, before it's available, hide activity. So look, that's just a very quick demo, a quick look at the conditional activities that are coming in 2.0. Um, if you want to see any more depth of this, please make sure you leave some uh, comments in the blog posts. I'll make sure I add more of it, more information on it soon. Until next time, I'll see you later.